What's up guys, my name is Dante and thank you very much for watching another video. Today I just wanted to talk about something that came up over the weekend for me. And this happens quite often, where I'll be reading something, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, and there'll be like an inspirational sentence or two. Usually not quotes from people, but just something that's inspirational, and I really like them a lot. I think that uh, they're cool to try to identify what principle they're talking about, because in all of them, invariably, there is some principle that is involved with these inspirational quotes, at least all the ones that I've seen, and I've been able to pinpoint, oh, that's talking about this or that principle. And the one this weekend was something that I think is very useful and occasionally I will come across quotes or inspirational sentences where I, I really think about them for a while because uh, obviously I, I do these videos and, and it helps me to think about, okay, well what's going to benefit other people the most? What's going to help them the most? What has helped me the most in my life? And this is one of them. In my past videos I've shared a little bit about how I've made mistakes in the past, big mistakes, like most of us have, um, and it, it caused me a lot of guilt and a lot of shame for, for a long time, and when I was able to find a new way of life, that's what inspired me to make these videos, is I wanted other people who may feel like they have made mistakes in their past, I wanted them to experience a new way of life and to know that those mistakes are things that are are great and if we can recognize them as as being things that are essential to our lives and to our happiness then our potential for growth goes through the roof so without further ado I will uh, try to remember as closely as I can what it said and share a little bit about what I think that means and so this one said something along the lines of if I erase my past I will also be erasing all of my wisdom and, and it listed a few other good things. I remember wisdom as being something that really made me think. And so what it's saying to me is that I do not wish to erase my past. For what reason? Well, I do not wish to erase it because I recognize my past as being something that's made me who I am. And I love who I am. And that is just so huge because I think acceptance, and we've talked about acceptance and not trying to control things that just can't be controlled, and our past is one of them. Our past falls into the category of things we cannot control. It's number one. People may be confused when I tell them that you cannot control their people, you cannot control their places, um, and that kind of confuses people. But one thing we can all agree on is we cannot change the past. Right, and so that's the base level of what this quote means to me, but I think it's important to recognize that that's kind of what it's talking about. I do not wish to change the past. I do not wish to dwell on the past because it's a waste of my time, it's a waste of my energy. No matter how much uh, I, I become upset about it, no matter how much time and energy I put into it, it will never change. So like I said, that is the base level to me of what that means. And what's the next part? And this part, if you can grasp this, and if you already have this as a part of your like arsenal of tools, or um, I shouldn't say arsenal, but uh, as a part of your tool bag, or whatever you want to call it, um, to go through life, then you are, your potential to be happy is just fr through the roof. So not only do I accept the past, but I'm grateful for all my mistakes. I'm grateful for the things that I have done, no matter what they are. And why is that? Well, because I can see how those experiences can benefit me and benefit other people. And so what does this mean as we go into the future? This means I am no longer fearful of making mistakes because of my experience. I know that my mistakes can help me grow. So much so, and I've been able to grasp this to the point where I don't even like to use the language of mistakes because I recognize those things as only being growing experiences. There's been philosophers who have talked about um, wanting to be wrong. You know, philosophers are, are about gaining knowledge and things like that. And, and one in particular made, uh, said that I wish to be wrong because then I'm gaining knowledge. If I'm always right, if I'm always doing every, everything perfectly, and that's how it relates to this, if I'm never making mistakes, there's no growth. And that's not what we want in life. We want growth. I mean, I mean, I, that's what I want in life. And if you want that too, then you're watching the right video because that's what this is about. We can go through life and not be fearful of mistakes anymore because we know right here and right now, anything that I've done in the past has been something that's made me who I am today. And this way of life, this way of life that's centered around happiness, makes us feel like we like who we are today. 
I did not feel that way at the beginning. Like I said, I was full of shame, full of guilt for the things that I've done in the past. They held me up, they, they held me back from accomplishing anything new, from being anything better than I already was, but I had to let go of that. I had to accept it, and that's step one. Step two, which comes after practicing it for a while, is I'm grateful for all those mistakes. In fact, if I had the chance to go back, I wouldn't change anything. It's a freeing feeling. It's, it's incredible because when I go through life, the people that I try to help and the people that I talk to are so caught up in the past. They cannot accept it. And I have sympathy because I've been there before. But I'm here to say that that is our decision. When we decide not to let go of the past, it is our decision to, we are, we are hurting ourselves. We are doing that which makes it impossible to grow. It's not as much as letting go of the past and forgetting that it ever happened and burying it and lying about it. Like I said, we become grateful for the mistakes that we made. We can talk about them as though they might be able to help another person. I can tell people of the mistakes I've made today and not feel guilt or shame because, because I hope that my mistakes can help other people. I, I heard one quote that said, smart people learn from their mistakes. And like I said, that's step one, acceptance, you know, learning from our mistakes. Uh, wise people learn from other people's mistakes. Uh, wise people learn from other people's mistakes. and that. That is directly related to this because if we are surrounding ourselves with people that want growth, our experiences or our mistakes can help them. And we don't have to be ashamed anymore because helping other people becomes the center of our lives. And that's another video, I'm kind of going off on a tangent. Um, spoiler alert though, that video is all about how helping other people is literally the best thing you can do for yourself. It's counterintuitive, it doesn't seem like that makes very much sense, but once again, common thread. Uh, it's been talked about for ages that helping other people, there's nothing better you can do for yourself. We can practice these principles and get to the point where we understand that our past isn't something that we have to be ashamed of, that we can move forward, but it's all leading up to eventually understanding that all of this was to help other people and to spread this word. And that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to do now. You know, because you will get, I, I know that the people who watch these videos and, and try those challenges at the end and, and become aware that these are things that can help anybody, things that do not discriminate on for any reason, if you are a human being and you practice these principles, you will have a better life, you will be more happy, and you will be able to help people. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I, I've experienced the life that these principles have given me. The incredible life that is, is you know, sometimes I, I, I'm... Sometimes I think that people, it's possible that they think I'm over-exaggerating. But I can tell you I'm not. I'm able to experience so much happiness. And, and if you've seen a, a few videos ago, I, I said that that was my motivation. I wasn't, I, I felt like it was almost unfair that I was living this way and other people weren't. I had to do something to show other people what I've been shown. And it was given to me for free, so I need to do it in a way where I'm able to just provide this information with nothing except for knowing that I tried to help other people. And I know that you guys will get there too. So for this week, very simple. I mean, you could even do it right now. We think about our past. One of those things that we're shameful for or we're guilty of. And there's other things we can do to get over that shame and guilt, but to understand one thing that as long as we hold on to that, as being a mistake, as being something that makes us a bad person, that will be true. But the moment we're able to let go of it and, and take the power away from it, holding us back or holding us down, we can continue to grow. And if that gets practiced enough, if we create a habit of, of acceptance, we will get to the next level, which is being grateful for all of those mistakes. And not only are they not holding us back, but they're helping us go forward. So like I said before, think of something in your past that you may be guilty of or shameful for and choose to accept it as being the way it's supposed to be, as being out of your control, as being unable to hold you back anymore. If you do that, I guarantee you'll feel more happiness. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.